is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Body of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure, and as well as other action figures. I mean, you can see here we have Iron Man in the freaking house. We got Vegeta in the house. If you guys didn't know, Iron Man's my favorite Marvel character, and Vegeta is my favorite anime and DBZ character of all time. So, I got some figures of those guys just because I, I, you know, I like to collect figures of things I like, guys I like. Isn't that typically how collecting figures work? But today, guys, we have some brand new accessories right here that I think could make your WWE action figure your setups, your pick feds, your stop motions, your shows, your backstage areas, all that stuff, it can really bring it to life. Even if you do figure photography and stuff like that, I think that this stuff right here is going to come in super duper handy, and you can even use them in your figure matches and stuff like that, and I'm definitely going to get a lot of usage out of this stuff on MDT and the pick fed. so let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Before we get into this stuff, though, this is a great way to really bring your stuff to life, man. This, is, this stuff right here is what takes everything over the top, the details and the intricate things like that, so I want to give you a huge shout out to Greg, who is actually from SuperActionStuff.com. SuperActionStuff.com. He is the one that sent these things over for us to review and show off to you guys so you guys can go grab them for yourselves. Link in the description below to go over to the website to purchase all of these things, but a huge shout out to Greg for that. But we got some pretty epic accessories right here, man. Let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna zoom in right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at what, uh, you know, everything that we got. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to look at how they compare to the figures themselves, see how they look in the hand and stuff, because we don't want stuff that's like super duper small or, or something like that. You want it to be relative size to everything like that. So let's go ahead and open up the baggie first. Pulling out the card right here. What do we got? It says want more action figure accessories. Super action stuff has the most diabolical 112 scale action effects and food accessories. Visit visit eBay store Chunky's Comics or SuperActionStuff.com for more. On the back, absolutely nothing. So there's that. All right, guys. So it looks like the first thing that we have right here. It looks to be a beer mug or a mug that has some beer or some root beer, some suds filling over the top right there. It's got a good mold to it and everything like that. It looks like it has like banana peels molded on the side there. I think that's just the cup that it gets, but I think that looks pretty good. That's pretty nice. They can go in your bar, bro bar broom, bar room brawls. Next up guys, we have a pizza slice, and this actually looks like the pizza slice that came with the Marvel Legends Pizza Spidey. It looks very similar to it. It's got like the fold there, so you guys know when people pick up pizza and it's flopping, they hold it with their hand there to keep it up. But that looks good. I like the pepperonis and the crust and everything. Thing. Looks pretty good. Next up, we do have a Coke bottle. Coke bottle looks pretty good, or soda bottle, whatever you want to call that. I like the way that looks and everything like that. Pretty cool. Next up, we have a mini soda can, and it says Pop sh Pop Schniz. Nice. Pop Schniz. Schni schnizzy Pop. What else? Next up, we have another can, and it looks like this tall can. It kind of looks like a beer can or something. Like one of those tall beer cans or an energy drink type of can. Got a little star on there. That looks pretty good. I like the tallness of that. Oh, snap. Next up, it looks like we have a damn turkey leg, Brad. So, very, very nice. So that's going to come in handy for the Thanksgiving setup right there. You got a nice turkey leg right there, and it has a bite taken out of it. Really like the details and everything like that going on with this piece. I like the bone right there at the tip as well. Next up, it looks like we have a pizza box, which is really sick. You guys already know I have like a Jack's pizza box, but this one looks like it looks a little bit better in my personal opinion. So, that's pretty nice. Oven fresh pizza. Got the, got the checkerboard pattern going on. Hot and tasty. Very nice right there. And just set that on the table. Table. That looks pretty good right there. What in the blue hell is that? Oh, is that sticky tag? Okay, so it even comes with sticky tag. That is very interesting because these are. this is actually going to come in hand. Like, if your figure can't really hold the stuff, you would use this and you would put a bit of this onto the onto the item, and then it will stick to the figure and it'll come off really easy. It's like wax, pretty much. Next up, it looks like we have a banana. It's got a nice peel. The peel is really nicely sculpted. You get the brown part on there. Very nice. That's very, very good, good looking banana right there. Next up, it looks like we have a nice donut, so you can recreate that Dean Ambrose Finn Balor scene in the backstage area where Dean Ambrose tells Finn Balor to eat a carb. The next accessory we have is an ice cream cone. Got the double scoop there with a the nice waffle cone. Love to see it. We have a bottle accessory. Plenty of bottles. I have a ton of bottle accessories. This pretty much looks like a beer bottle or, or a whiskey bottle or something like that. So you, you got the 12 on there. Nice and tall. Really good stuff. Next up, guys, it looks like we have like a thick burrito or a chimichanga. It, no, I think this is a chimichanga. This is a chimichanga. This is a burrito which looks good. I like the cheese and the colors and everything. Looks really, really nice. You could even pass this off as an enchilada, probably. And the trifecta has got to be the taco. So the taco has like some juices flowing off of it. You got the lettuce, the tomato. Really good sculpt and colors on this thing. I'm not sure exactly where he gets these or if he makes these himself. I don't know if he 3D prints them. What the deal is, but they look really good. This is really, really nice right there. Plenty of good colors and stuff and this will go great in, you know, the catering area or holding stuff or whatever. And you have the chimichanga for your Deadpool figures. Next up, guys, is another beer bottle. Kind of looks like a 
Heineken bottle is what it reminds me of. Like a bottle of Heineken or like a green beer bottle. So that's cool right there. Oh, snap, Brad. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? I spit it in the face of people who don't want to be cool. <sighs> so you got an Apple accessory with a bite taken out of it for your Carlito customs. We have a hot dog accessory with some nice ketchup on there. Are you guys ketchup or mustard guys? Personally, it kind of depends for me. I fumbled the hot dog. Never fumbled in my football career, though, so get that right. But you got the ketchup on there. Personally, I like to put ketchup and mayonnaise on mine. However, if I'm doing a chili cheese dog, you put the ketchup, mayonnaise, and honey mustard on a chili cheese dog. I promise to God it sounds awful, but it's perfection. Trust me. Do it now. Do it today. For lunch, dinner, don't care. Try it. Try it. And then last but not least, guys, one of the better accessories, I think, is an iPhone. And I, you guys know that I made an iPhone accessory out of my Tyler Breeze figure, which I'll show off to you guys now. So this is my phone accessory. I got this off of the Tyler Breeze little selfie stick, and I just dremeled off all the pieces and cut off all the excess to make me a phone. But now this one is larger. It looks better. It's got more details. It's even got the buttons on the side. It's got the camera, and it even has the caller interface where you can reject or answer the call. So that is perfect. I really like that accessory, and that'll go hand in hand with my other cell phone in the GM's office. All right, guys, so here's all the accessories laid out on the table. Now what I want to do is I want to open up these because we got a lot of stuff going on. Now, a lot of these probably won't have to do with wrestling effects, but you still got some pretty cool stuff in there. So I'm going to unbox this because it's probably going to be really a messy, and then I'll see you guys once all of it's out. Now, actually, I'm seeing there is some stuff that could work for wrestling, but let's just shut the hell up and open them. All right, guys, so here's the two packs separated. So on this side, you got some more like swoosh and bullet effects, and then over here, you got some blood effects and some weapons. So let's go ahead and dive into this one right here. So this one right here is like, I, I really don't know the full thing, but I think this could go in like a Wolverine claw or something like that. It's got some good, you know, spikes and everything. It's translucent. It's red and stuff. This could also go on like an Iron Fist. This could go on, you know, like a Goku, Vegeta. You know, it's kind of like a swoosh effect. So you put the fist up there like they're like doing an uppercut or something really fast, like from the anime or something like that. So you could do that right there. This, I really don't know. I think it's supposed to be like a smoke or like an explosion type effect. Or you could like hook this to a wall and it looks like it's getting shot or something, I think. Up next, we have these effects. And I think these effects go over the tips of guns. So like I have this John Wick figure. You just like kind of plug this in over the tip. It's not really going in there that much. It may not fit all guns, but Marvel Legends guns, I'm sure it will fit better. But you also have these like bullet effects. So there's a bullet coming off the end like it's firing, a, like, you know, it's firing, firing. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. You guys get the point though. Do you see that? It comes out right there. It doesn't go on every weapon. This, this is like Marvel Select John Wick figure, but this has some nice translucent stuff going on. You also have these like bullet effects or ground effects. You can put this out of a wall. And actually, this does come detached from here. So you can, like, plug this in here, and then you can actually have it out of it as well as I drop it on the floor. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on right here, man. You even have this rocket right here that can come out of a rocket launcher, and then you have the rocket launcher accessory that attaches to it like a rocket coming at you. So that's badass, man. Like, especially if you collect other stuff, not just WWE figures. So that's pretty badass. You also have these effects right here, like the little proton cannon deal. You know, you plug this into Iron Man's foot. You plug that into Iron Man's foot. It looks like he's, you know, flying away like that. So there's there's a lot of different variations. You also have, like, ricochet effects for the wall, like with bullets or a shield or, like, cap shield or something. So tons and tons of stuff like that. And then on this side, you have the same effects, but in clear with the whoosh or the punching or whatever effects right there. You also get these blood splatter effects. So, like, if somebody gets cut, shot, whatever, you can, you know, put this and, like, attach it to the body uh, on the back there, and it looks like they're getting, you know, they're bleeding or whatever. You can do that mainly for figure photography is what that would be for. But as far as weapons, you have this crowbar accessory which looks really, really cool and it looks great with the WWE figures. So there's Seth holding the crowbar which is pretty dude, that's that's lit. Like I've always wanted a crowbar accessory so that's really cool right there. And it is a little skinny right there but you could easily put something in his hand and make him hold it, you know, like a thicker hold there. And then you have the baseball. This is sick as shit, dude. A metal baseball bat? We've gotten plenty of wooden ones from Mattel but we've never seen a metal baseball bat which would be really cool as well. So there there you go. So they can hold the bat right there. I, I mean, dude, I gotta get some usage out of this in the Extreme Championship Division. Look at that, dude. This bat's really nicely molded, and it looks really good on the figure, too. Like, it's in perfect scale with WWE figures. And then we also have this spiked bat right here, which is perfect for wrestling figures as well. It looks to be in scale. That's really nice there. Then we have an axe, which is sick as shit. You can use an axe to kill people with in the pick fed, you know? I think Kevin Owens may need this ish when he fights Brock Lesnar in My Damn Nation. So there's a nice axe right there. And then it's just more blood effects and stuff like that. So lots of great-ish, man. Lots of great-ish. I love the weapons. I, I don't imagine I could
to use a lot of the bullet effects and stuff simply because, you know, we're not shooting people around here, but the food accessories and the weapons are worth the pickup alone. And another thing is, is they're greatly priced. Like, I think it's like $14.99 for this full pack of food and something like that. If you were to go to Hobby Lobby and buy each of these individually, they don't even have, first of all, they don't even have this good of accessories at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. So if you were to go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's and try to get these, it's going to run you probably triple the price because each thing, this would be like $3. This would be like two, three, four dollars This would be, so over time it would add up so quickly you'd end up spending $50, $60 when you can pay $15 or $14.99 for this full pack of all of this food. It's all in one place. It ships right to you and you get it for a great premium price. That's an excellent price. Like I may go buy some more. So that's excellent. And then I think the weapon packs or the, uh, you know, the blood splatters and all that stuff, they come all together. I think those are $24 if I'm not mistaken, but really good price for what you get, guys. I'm really impressed. Huge shout out to Greg again for the weapons and everything, man. The, this stuff is sick. I think you did an excellent job on this, and I'll definitely be showing some support over there, but I really enjoy this stuff, man. I think this, I think that we're going to get a lot of usage out of this, and uh, th this is great. Really good stuff. Highly recommend 10 out of 10, especially if you collect Marvel Legends, man. If you collect Marvel Legends and, and you know, like gun toters or something, I bet it would even work for Star Wars as well. So if you collect Black Series or something, that is something you could also do. But anyways, guys, before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. So this shout out is going to go to HPW underscore PickFed underscore Customs. He says, people flexing their Elite 45 Rollins. MDT, hold my Mountain Dew, Brad. That's pretty good right there. Even though we drink Diet Mountain Dew over here simply because we don't want those extra calories, Brad. You don't want the extra calories. You know, no soda is better than soda. You know, not drinking soda is obviously better than drinking soda, but if you're going to drink the soda, you might as well drink the one that's not going to carry 120 to 250 calories per can. That adds up so quickly, and then you're putting body fat on yourself. My dogs are barking for some reason. But then you're gaining weight, and you know, it's just, you know, you don't want all that, Brad. You want to you want to stay fit and healthy, and I recommend no soda, but if you're going to drink soda, drink the diet so that you don't have the extra calories. You'll develop a taste for it, Brad. But anyways, eat your calories. Don't drink them, unless it's like a caramel frappe or something. You got to drink that ish. That ish is too good. But huge shout out to HPW, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys go over there. Link in the description below to superactionstuff.com. Again, if you want to grab any of these things. I also think the phone comes in the uh, the food accessories, so that's, that's a fantastic effing deal, man. Nobody should pass that up, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Do not cross the line, because nobody wants to cross the line. I'm just kidding. It's all good. Go ahead and cross the line if you want. I'm just kidding. What are you doing? You cross the line. I've been